up guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while it's been a couple of days since i last uploaded i am so excited to say that my last video did so great uh most of y'all know a lot of personal stuff about me and in less than like 24 hours i got you know it's a small channel so for me getting like more than 10 views is really great <clears throat> so yeah thank you so very much for watching the last video but today we are back with something different a big announcement as y'all probably already know from the title of the video somewhere whatever anyways i don't write letters on the videos or anyways um yes i got big announcement i'm leaving for the military i am joining the navy and that means i'll be gone for Approximately four months and a half. Yes, four months and a half. Meaning, I'll be going through boot camp. I'll be going through hell. Then after I graduate boot camp, I'll be going to tech school. And then after that, then I'll be officially on duty. Well, first I'll be able to come home, visit my family, because you know I'm gonna need to see my family after like four months. It'll be it's a big step for me. I'm actually leaving my family. Like I'm leaving to go do adult stuff and have my own place to live somewhere where my parents are gonna be there to guide me and stuff which they already did for 18 years of my life but it's time for me to like grow out of my cocoon and fly <sighs> but yes like i said i'll be joining the united states navy as y'all can see from my shirt right here i decided to make that decision back in january mid january ish thing i think i don't remember i think it was mid january beginnings of january um i was, <laughs> I was out of i was coming out of work and um i got a call from a recruiter and they're like hey what's up we got an information from your cousin and uh she told us that you want to join the navy and i was like oh um i just got out of work i'm driving right now and she was like yeah sure sure um so when can you come into the office i was like oh well, well i didn't say anything like but because you want I was like, okay fine i'll show up <clears throat> the thing is that two years before i had tried to join the united states air force but as i can see i wear glasses and i got rejected because um i wear glasses and uh they don't like people with glasses and they're really picky about the people especially if they were glasses because you know it's the air force and not talking trash about the air force not talking trash about the air force if I, if it wasn't because of my glasses i would be in the air force so i'm not talking trash about sorry i'm not talking trash about the air force. <laughs> but i am disappointed in them because they were they decided to uh you know like not let me join and it was really discouraging for me because I was working out, I was pumping out. I was even getting that six pack and the muscles. Now I'm just really weak. <clears throat> Anyways, time passed by and so I just went back to school. I did pharmacy tech school, blah, 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 blah. And I hated that. I hated going to that school. I hated waking up in the morning, then go sit down, read books. I still got my backpack right there of pharmacy stuff. But I did make it to, I did finish. No, I didn't finish it. But I finished the school part. <laughs> Then I went to my internship, and then I got fired from my internship. And then I said I was gonna go back. Well, I didn't get fired from my internship. I got busy because I had a full-time job. I decided that, because I wasn't getting paid at my internship, so I was like, I need a job, because you know, I'm at that stage where I don't want to ask my parents that much for money, because you know, I'm a grown person. So I need to make the bold decisions. Yes, I. it's okay to ask my parents once in a while, but now that I have the capability to work, I feel bad whenever I have to. Play. So, anyways, I got a full time job, and that took a lot of, a lot of my time. You know, it's eight hours a week or more, eight hours plus a day, for five days a week. So I'll get out late, and I was really tired, and I wouldn't have time. I would have time to go to the pharmacy, but I was really tired. So I instead I went home, and then also my family, my sister came over to visit, and I wanted to spend time with them because everybody was gathered at the house, and I didn't want to be twenty four seven at the jobs, at two jobs. And, um, yeah, oh, I was working also another job. So I was working three jobs, actually. I was working at my church, I was working at the pharmacy, and I was working at the full-time. <sighs> that was exhausting. Anyways, I got the call from the 
from my recruiter. I was like, sure, I'll go this day, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, all right, first things first, don't get my hopes up. Let me know, am I going to accept it? Am I not going to get accepted because of my glasses? And they were like, no, man, of course we're going to take you in. What the heck? We don't know what's wrong with the Air Force. <laughs> you know how Navy is, you know. Obviously, that's, I am going to start being territorial once I'm officially part of them. So, you know, take pride in Navy pride now. <laughs> um, they were like, man, they like, they're losing a great person, yada, yada. Making me, you know, bringing my hopes back up. It was a drag. That, that whole month, the process took exactly one month. That whole one month was a drag because um, I had to go on and off, on and on. On and off from the office to work, from the office to work. I had to leave work to go get my body checked, to get my eyes checked, to get my physical. <sighs> it was so exhausting. I was really tired of doing that. And I, in the end, I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm just not going to get accepted. <laughs> but no. The day had come where I was going to give my oath. And, um... It was early in the morning. Well, actually... I left my job the day before really early to go um, get some paperwork fixed because my name was messed up in their system and so I was a, I wasn't a real person in their system. <laughs> I was an error. And so I had to leave work that day and then they sent me to my recruiter's office, they fixed it and stuff. And then I went back to go get <laughs> then I went, okay, so my my recruiting office is like in another city. Literally, another city. So I have to drive to the other city and um, get my paperwork done over there. Then they transferred me all the way over there back to my city, downtown Houston, where I had my final interview. They asked me if I had done drugs, yada, yada, yada. I said, no, 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 no. Yes, I wear glasses. Is that going to be a problem? No, sir, that's not going to be a problem. Great. Then we finished it. That same night, and they took me back to the office. I drove back that night, hurried back up, packed my stuff, because the next day was my swearing day. And I had to be at a hotel that day, that same night before the swearing day. So I came home, packed up, boom, to the hotel. I slept for like five hours, because I had to be up at 3.30 in the morning, because the bus was going to leave at 4, and take us to the, back to downtown, where I was the day before. <laughs> and... My day went on and on. Uh, they checked my booty, and they checked my blood. They checked my pressure, and you know the physical stuff. My weight. So I thought my weight was gonna. I am a skinny guy now, very very skinny, and I thought my weight was gonna be a problem. But no, 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 it was not gonna be a problem. It didn't become a problem. And I was, they got me really happy. And then I thought my eyes were gonna be a problem. But no, <clears throat> I got. <clears throat> then I got to the final portion <laughs> and I forgot I had braces on but good thing that the day before my interview I turned in a waiver from my dentist saying that I was going to take them off <gasps> they cancelled my they cancelled my um, what you call it, my application the doctor was like well good luck I hope, you were able, I hope you're able to swear into it I was like what do you mean I was like, well, we need your form from the braces. I was like, but I gave it to y'all yesterday. I was here like three times yesterday to have this finalized. And they were like, oh, well, then go check upstairs. And I go upstairs and they were like, you're done. You're going home. I was like, what do you mean? You're disqualified. I was like, I'm not disqualified because I brought in my paperwork. And y'all are wasting, I feel like y'all just wasted my time with saying that I got disqualified. They were like, really? And I was like, yeah. And so they went in and apparently they put my paperwork in a different folder and they found it. Yay. So they sent me back up downstairs to the doctor again and he cleared me and stuff. And I went up, got my job, and I'll be going into the Navy as an E3. I signed my contract as an E3 and my job will be military police. I'll be a master at arms. That's what the military police is called. Because I hope that after I finish my career there, I can do like DEA work, uh, catch some drug dealers, you know, uh, or just be a regular cop. Because that's something I like. I like wearing uniform. I like showing pride in what I do. And I feel like I can share more whenever I'm wearing the uniform. 
<laughs> so my dream was accomplished. I swore in that day and stuff. And then here I am now, a couple months later. Let's see. February. Uh, what is it? March. April. May. Four months later. Almost five months because it's June today, I think. I think it's June. It's still, it's still May. It's May 31st. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, here I am telling y'all that I now will be leaving. Well, in two months. August 13, I'll be leaving for boot camp. Meaning I only got two months to train, two months to do some vlogs if I feel like it, which I hope I do because I'm pretty sure that these videos are doing much better than my gaming videos. But yeah, that was big enough. I gave you all the story of what happened. Everything was a mumble jumble in the store now. So, yeah. Uh, again? Yes. I just had... English! Speak! English come upon me! Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Here I am now. And so, I'll be leaving soon. So if I disappear from the channel for a bit, it's because I'll be gone. I got two months to train. Two months to get ready, two months to condition myself, and I hope um, y'all are with me all the way through, and I hope I'm have y'all support, and I'll be back. Well, I'm not saying goodbye right now, but after I leave, I'll be back in a couple of months, and I'll take y'all into an adventure. That's just where Siggy Adventures come uh, come to uh, reality, because I'll be traveling. I'll be exploring new areas of the world that I've been to. The only place I've been to is Houston, California, and um, Florida. That's Oh, and Arkansas. Oh, and Nebraska. But other than that, nope. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Japan. I want to go get those anime stuff. I want to get more collectible. <laughs> I'll get more Funko Pops, of course. But that'll be after all the adult stuff. After the job is done, that'll be a hobby afterwards. But the channel will be part of my life. I'll show y'all my life through the camera. So yeah. So that's that's a big announcement. Again, I'm pretty sure I've gone for like 20 minutes now. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. If you haven't already done so, leave a like. Please, no dislike. I don't know who gave me a dislike last time. But if you're watching this, please leave a like. Share this video. Uh, I'll be sharing it on my social media so y'all can go and chill. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like, share, and subscribe. And.